Don't forget, if you're an Airfix Club member, you can donate your flying hours to Models for Heroes. So fresh on the bench is the new release from Airfix, the long-awaited 135th Austin K2Y Ambulance. I have been dying to get my hands on this one. So before we have a look inside the box, let's have a look, quick look at the box art itself. Obviously, it's the K2 Ambulance in theatre. Lovely little depiction of the subject. Typical Airfix boxing, you've got your cautionary towels etc on the side in different languages and then on the reverse side we have a little bit of history here about the amulets itself and our marking options so without further ado let's dive inside the box so here you go this this is the box nicely packed i have had a look at it already so it comes in three bags but we're going to have a quick look at the sprues themselves but before we get to the sprues, let's have a look at the instructions. So, FX typical layout, you've got a little bit of history here in the top in English, and then obviously your other languages there, etc. Builds up to a nice little model, uh, as it says here, your width is uh, 68 millimeters and your length is 178 millimeters. I do believe there's about 140 parts in the kit, but it does make up. A very nice example so let's crack on to the instructions and first off you'll notice we have a sprue layout I'm glad to see that well done airfix the community's been asking for that for some time and uh, it's the first time I've seen it in a set of instructions so we like in that anyway let's crack on through the instructions as you can see there are some important bits in which you've got to watch out for making sure you've fix the parts of our chassis in the right order and the right way take note of that and then obviously we're moving on to the uh, engine and um, suspension still doing the chassis in sections three and four putting our differential in and drive shaft exhausting all that sort of goodiness and it does say here a, a cautionary note of assemble in numerical order and they have numbered the parts in which order to do it just to make sure you don't make those errors moving on to putting our wheels on etc building up this supper section quite nicely and then we're on to the main box of the ambulance now as you can see it's got some stretches there and it's explaining to you exactly how they would look if you looked at them from the rear so lots of helpful little tips and how to get it all done properly. Then obviously you've got your door, your internal door coming into, that goes between the driver section and the rear section, and then onto our stretchers, etc. to add in four sets of set, uh, stretchers. These go onto the side wall. Then we're looking at our driver's compartment some decals that are going to go on to our dashboard and as you can see it's explaining exactly as you go along everything you need to know well, nicely laid out quite simple to follow this obviously gives you a second sub assembly and then that sec that sub assembly goes on to the first assembly to create your your vehicle a nice little section there of your your steps into the ambulance you have them folded or unfolded so some choices to make there and again remember here assembling in numerical order so yeah nice little set of instructions and then you're all done you're on to part 18 and 19 and you're just finishing off the bits and pieces and then you're on to your color choices so as you can see one of our first options here is the Army Service Corps in Western Europe in 1944. Then we go to our North African campaign in 1940, which is quite colourful. And of course, how could you not have your British Army in Alexander in Egypt in 1942? Because you know there's going to be lots of ice cold in the lakes. And the last one, of course, is our territorial auxiliary service in England in 1944 which of course would be the service in which Her Majesty in her youth 
uh, trained and, and took part in. So there are our call outs. Lots of other options out there that you can do. Uh, I certainly got a few in mind, but yeah. So there you go, there's our instructions. Let's move on to the sprue. So of course, starting with sprue A. Very nice, cleanly molded. A little bit of flash here and there on our main sprue parts, but not any damage or problems with our actual parts themselves. So nothing you need to worry about. The detail's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Nice surface detail. So you've got two parts of your roof there. Some nice raised detail on both, as you can see. If I come in nice and closely. And as we go through the sprue, you'll see all your other bits and pieces, all nicely done. And this is the section for your foot plate at the back and our doors. And of course, this is our chassis. That was sprue A. So moving on to sprue B. This is our main base of our subsection for the cab, etc. And again, as you can see, some nice indented detail and raised detail going on there so lots of stuff in which you can get your washes into that'll look nice we've got our stretchers the internal doorway there all looking very nice and the wall sections as well so obviously one of the things in which you need to watch out for the internal side of our cabin has got some release points um, but they are very easily fixable so don't worry about that very nice nicely molded indeed no no major no major issues there at all to be kind of worried about so that was sprue b as i opened up the next bag i had this one part floating around and i thought oh no a bit's come off in transit no that is how it's packed so this is the main hood of our austin Nice detail on the sides there, a nice little piece. Then we go on to sprue D. Sprue D's got our tyres and differentials and other details, etc. All looking nice and crisp, as you can see there. Tyres are a two-part tyre. And the tread looks pretty good on, on it. So I don't think there'll be any major issues there. And we've got the front of our K2, the radiator section, with some fine detail there. That'll come out really nicely with a nice wash. Nice pin wash in there, and then obviously all the other bits and pieces. All looking crisply moulded, as you've come to expect. Again, no, no issues on the surfaces there that I can see that are going to need any remedy. So that is sprue D. So of course, we are on to our clear sprue, sprue E. And as you can possibly see, I'm hoping that'll come out on the camera. That is crystal clear, absolutely perfectly molded and really, really nice. So no issues there at all with your clear plastic. That was sprue E. So next up is our decals. These are cast graph decals. As I move that around, you'll probably see there is no carrier film around the edges of the circles of the ambulance itself. And you've got your, obviously your extra decals there for the, the versions in which you make. Decals here in the top corner for the internals of our driving cab. And then obviously our numbers, etc. here. Really look nice, really well put together and like I say no carrier film or anything on there to worry about they are the decals so as promised in the kit we have some photo etch not a great deal but it's there it's nice to see that addition in the kit airfix thank you very much that will pop a little extra de detail out on your model so there you go there is the kit itself can't wait to get on with it um it's on the bench and i'm raring to go if you are interested in this kit make sure you buy it now i do believe they're going to run out pretty quickly it's such an anticipated kit that i really think it's going to fly off the shelves if you are interested there's this link here is in the description at the bottom 
click on that and that'll take you straight through to the airfix place your order now there is two that you couldn't get right now there is the kit itself or is there a bundle as well which you can get which involves a airfix glass a nice little touch but like i say if you click the link that's in the description it'll take you straight through to the website and no extra cost to yourself a little donation will be made to this channel to help bring you up content so there we go i hope you enjoyed that i'm going to be doing a build series on this as soon as i can and believe me i am gagging to get on with it but from the k2 the bench and myself bye bye for now